Hello and welcome to this session. I am Raghav and today we are going to see how to create and manage dependencies in TestNG and we will go very basic step by step and learn how to create test dependencies. What happens when the tests have priorities set? How to create dependencies on multiple tests? We will also see how to create group dependencies and how to use regular expressions. So let's get started and I will go to my Eclipse and I have a project here. So here I will create a new class under the demo package. You can create a class anywhere and I will say new class test ng dependency demo. So here I'm going to create a function public void test one and I will just create a print statement inside this function. So here I will use system dot out dot println and I will say I am inside test one. And to make it a test ng test I will use the annotation at test here and import it from org test ng annotations. So this is now a test ng test. I will copy this and paste it again to create another test so that I have two tests and I will paste it here. And this I will name as test2 and this is test2. Okay, so now we have our tests created. Now to create dependencies within the add test annotation, I can create a parameter. So if you say depends, and press control spacebar on your keyboard you will find uh, two parameters here depends on groups and depends on methods i will tell you about depends on groups but let us now use depends on methods so this is what you have to use for creating dependencies on test cases and here i will say depends on i will say equals and within curly braces inside quotes i can give the name of the test so i can say depends on test 2 so this is my test2 and I have created a dependencies on test2 okay and now so if I do a right click and say run as test ng test let us see what happens so here you see test2 got executed first and then it executed test1 so, so it was it executed test2 first and then test1 now uh, let us see what happens when priority is set. So let me also set a priority here. I will say comma and say priority equals one and here I will say in test two sorry I have to give it inside the parameters of add test annotation. So I will say priority equals two. Okay so priority we have already learned in the earlier session. Now what happens here I am saying priority of test one is one and then priority of test 2 is 2 so if we go by priority test 1 should get executed first and then test 2 however we have also created a dependency on test 2 so for test 1 dependency is on test 2 so what will happen now let us see i will try to run this again run as test ng test and let us see what happens so do you see it still executes test 2 first so it executes test two first and then test one because we have set the dependencies. So in case priority is set, even then dependency will take the preference. So you can now see priority takes a second preference in case dependency is already set. Now you can set dependencies on multiple tests as well. So for example, I will copy this and create a third test and say this is test 3 and I will print I am inside test 3 and here let me just remove the priorities now I will remove the priority from test 2 as well and here I will say depends on test 2 and I will say test 3 so you can create dependencies on multiple tests as well and if I run this now run as test ng test so you can see it executes test 2 first then test 3 and then finally test 1 
because test 1 is dependent on test 2 and test 3 so you can do that and also you can create group dependencies so as I showed you earlier for example uh, let us say test 2 is assigned a group and let us say it is assigned a group uh, sanity okay and here in the test one I will say depends on group so now I will use the parameter depends on groups and here I will give the group name which is sanity and now I will run this I will say run as test ng test and here let us see what happens so here you can see uh, I think it did not run this particular thing let me just okay so sanity was already assigned earlier so uh, the reason it executed all these tests was because if we look at this particular class it has already the group sanity so this was a earlier session where I explained about grouping so let me use some other group name let me go back to my dependencies demo class and I will say this is sanity1 and now let me run this as test ng test and let us see mm, okay so I think let me use some different name I will use run one. Oh, sorry okay that is fine I have to give sanity1 here as well okay that is fine so now I will say run as so don't get confused the reason it ran all those other tests was because uh, in our one of our earlier demos where I was explaining grouping uh, I had used the sanity group so that is why it was taking all those tests and I will now say sanity1 and run as test ng test and now yeah now it is okay you can see it runs test 2 first test 3 and then test 1 so this is how it is running okay and also you can use regular expressions so for example let us say we also have assigned this group to test 3 so and test 3 is assigned to group sanity 2 and I want here that all the tests which are inside group starting with sanity should run so I can say dot star here which is a regular expression and now if I run this I will say run as test ng test and you can see it runs test number 2 test number 3 and then test number 1 now of course you can also run this through a test ng xml file that we have already seen in our earlier session so you can create a file test ng.xml and you can run it through that as well okay so this is how you can use dependencies in test ng I hope this session was very useful for you I will suggest that you do some hands-on with some more examples so that this concept is very clear to you and in case you face any issues do let me know and I will try to help you as soon as I can I will meet you in the next session thank you for watching